Most of the time, marrying a U.S. citizen puts you on the path to a green card, but not all marriages are created equal in the eyes of the federal government. A Vermont couple found that out the hard way. One of them is being deported this week because their same-sex marriage isn't legally recognized. Soledad O'Brien has their story. Nestled deep in the scenic hills of Vermont, Takako and Francis Herbert appear to be living the idyllic life of a newly married couple. But time is running out on their happiness. So, it's been like a ticking clock, yes. Anticipatory grief. Takako, born in Japan, is just days away from being deported, even though she is legally the spouse of a U.S. citizen. This is my family, because I have established for 11 years with Francis and, you know, our little dogs and cat and home and beautiful nature. They were married on April 26th. Vermont is one of the few states where same-sex marriage is legal. With deportation looming, the couple got a lawyer. So explain to me why, if a couple is legally married, as Francis and Takako are, it doesn't count for the federal government when it comes to immigration. She should be able to sponsor the person that she is married to and the person that she loves for a green card. But because the Defense of Marriage Act bars the federal government from giving them any federal benefits on the basis of their marriage in Vermont. And so because immigration law is entirely federal, that means that there's no way that Francis, as an American, can sponsor Takako as, as her spouse. When's Takako due to be removed from the country? Her visa runs out on July 5th. The Obama administration announced in February that it would stop defending DOMA, or the Defense of Marriage Act, in court calling it discriminatory. And some recent deportation cases have already been suspended. Conservatives like Congressman James Lankford say that's not right. You can't just as an executive branch reach back to a previous law that is on the books and say, we're not gonna enforce that. That is the job of the President of the United States. So it's a pretty frightening precedent. So is refusing federal benefits like immigration rights to married same-sex couples unconstitutional? Attorney General Eric Holder says maybe. Still, the administration has not yet stopped all deportations. If she had to leave, <sighs> it's still really hard for me to think of that, even though the whole past year, every season was, oh, God, this is the last season. Oh, this is our last Thanksgiving. Oh, this is the last birthday. With time running out, Takako is packing for Japan. It's a hot, wrenching thing to do. It will feel really, really criminal. Just because we're two women, that's all. Reporting for In America, Soledad O'Brien, CNN.